Earth is about 4.5 billion years old. But imagine when it gets a little older, reaching 5.5 billion years. What will happen then? Let's travel into the future and discover what our planet will look like in 1 billion years from now. Humans are newcomers on Earth. Our planet is billions of years old, but we've only been here for about 200,000 years. And in that short time, we haven't just occupied the Earth. We even set foot on the moon. Just 16,000 years ago, Alaska and Russia were connected. You could actually walk from Russia to America on dry land. But in this brief period, massive continents drifted apart. Now imagine what will happen to Earth and to us 1 billion years from now. First, let's take a look at what might happen to Earth in the next 10,000 years. If greenhouse gas emissions continue, global temperatures will rise by several degrees. This seemingly small change will have enormous consequences. Massive ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica will begin to melt, causing sea levels to rise by several meters. Coastal megacities we know today, from New York and Shanghai to London and Mumbai, will sink beneath the waves. The world as we know it will no longer exist. As the planet gets hotter and fresh water becomes scarce, humanity will face massive migrations. Millions of people will be forced to leave their homes, searching for cooler and safer lands. In the next 20,000 years, the long cycle of Earth's climate trigger a new ice age. Vast sheets of ice could spread once again over North America, Europe, and Asia. The world will look colder, harsher, and many regions that are now green and full of life could be buried under kilometers of ice. Civilizations that survive will have to adapt to this frozen planet. Humans may move closer to the equator, build advanced habitats, or perhaps even rely on technology to reshape the climate itself. In the next 50,000 years, not only nature, but also our culture and languages will be transformed. The languages we speak today will no longer exist. Just as ancient languages once disappeared, today's tongues will either be forgotten or evolve into forms entirely new and unfamiliar. In the next 100,000 years, the buildings and cities we know today will be gone. But not everything will disappear. Some traces of humanity will remain. Monuments like the pyramids of Egypt may still be standing. And even our nuclear waste will still be dangerous tens of thousands of years into the future. In the next 200,000 years, many of the animals and plants we know today will no longer exist. Evolution will give rise to new and extraordinary forms of life. A new kind of human will emerge, and we will leave Earth behind, building a new home on another planet. In the next 300,000 years, the Loihi volcano in Hawaii will erupt and slowly rise from the ocean. Eventually, it will form a brand new island, adding to the Hawaiian archipelago. In the next 500,000, the continents will have slowly shifted. New mountain ranges will rise, while many of today's lands will sink beneath the seas. Volcanoes will erupt with greater activity, and new islands will emerge from the oceans. The face of Earth will be unlike anything we know today. In the next 1 million years, the Earth may face the threat of a giant asteroid impact. A meteorite measuring 10 kilometers. Such an event could change the destiny of the entire planet. But if humanity has advanced far enough in science and technology, we may be able to deflect the asteroid's path and save our world from a cosmic catastrophe. In the next 1,500,000 years, supervolcanoes will erupt. Eruptions as massive as Toba in Indonesia, the volcano that erupted about 74,000 years ago. That catastrophe was so powerful, pushed early humans to the brink of extinction. In the next 2 million years, humans will have left Earth and migrated to other planets. Life under harsh and diverse conditions, from frozen worlds to desert planets, will drive profound changes in human bodies and minds. On each planet, a new branch of humanity will emerge. Humans with stronger bodies, different eyes, and abilities beyond anything we can imagine today. There will no longer be just one kind of human, but many scattered across the galaxy. 
In the next 10 million years, the continents will have taken on a completely new shape. Africa will collide with Europe, giving rise to massive mountain ranges where the Mediterranean Sea once was. The Atlantic Ocean will become narrower, while Australia will drift northward, moving closer to Asia. The map of Earth will no longer resemble the world we know today. Next 50 million years from now, if humans have colonized Mars, they will face a massive challenge. Mars's moon, Phobos, is slowly spiraling inward, and one day it will either crash into the planet or shatter in orbit. Such an event could make life on Mars extremely difficult for its future inhabitants. Meanwhile, Earth will be transforming too. The continents continue to drift, and Africa will fully collide with Europe, raising a gigantic new mountain range, even larger than the Alps. Next 75 million years, the Hawaiian Islands we know today will completely disappear beneath the ocean. But in their place, a new chain of volcanic islands will rise somewhere else in the Pacific Ocean. In the next 100 million years, there is an almost 99% chance that an asteroid about 15 kilometers wide will collide with Earth, even larger than the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. Such an impact would trigger a global catastrophe potentially driving countless species to extinction. Unless, by then, humanity has developed advanced technologies capable of preventing this disaster. In the next 250 million years, all the continents will once again merge together, forming a massive supercontinent. As a result, the interior regions of this landmass will become extremely hot and arid, while the coastal areas will experience a wetter climate. At the same time, widespread volcanic activity is expected, which could alter the composition of Earth's atmosphere. Ultimately, many species may not survive these harsh conditions, leading to significant extinctions. Next 500 million years, the supercontinent that has formed will once again begin to break apart. The landmasses will slowly start to drift and move away from each other, continuing the endless cycle of supercontinent formation and breakup. At the same time, the Sun will move closer to Earth, causing the planet's average temperature to rise significantly. This change will make conditions on Earth much more difficult, placing greater stress on living species. Meanwhile, as the Moon continues to drift farther away, the length of a day on Earth will gradually increase to more than 24 hours. Next 800 million years, the nearby star undergo a massive supernova explosion, collapsing into a black hole. During this process, intense gamma-ray bursts will reach Earth, inflicting irreversible damage on the planet's ozone layer. As a result, much of Earth's natural shield against harmful solar radiation will be lost, leading to the death of countless living species. Next 900 million years from now, the Moon will have moved far enough away from Earth that, when it passes in front of the Sun, it will still have the ability to completely cover it. Finally, next 1 billion year, the Sun will grow brighter, hotter, and larger. Earth's average temperature will rise to nearly 50 degrees Celsius. Around 99% of all plants will vanish, and 99% of the oceans will evaporate, leaving only small remnants of water behind. The last traces of microscopic life will slowly disappear near these shrinking pools, until finally Earth becomes a barren, lifeless world, much like Mars. Subscribe.